In the latest journal of medical ethics, Dr. Robert Van Howe, a pediatrician, and Stephen Svoboda, a lawyer, severely criticized the methodology and ethics of the 2012 American Academy of Pediatrics Circumcision Policy. Their paper is followed by a reply by the task force that addresses none of the issues they raise, but just questions the tone of opposition to circumcision in general, asking four times that criticism be respectful. This is essentially the fallacy of appeal to authority. The most disrespectful word in the Svoboda Van Hal paper is myopic. This repeated demand for respect ignores one of the major realities of the case, that an increasing number of men are very angry that they were circumcised, and they resent the lack of respect shown for the most intimate part of their bodies, for their individuality, their privacy, their religious freedom, their sexuality, their equality with women, and for the security of their persons. Nobody should be surprised when these men show disrespect towards those who endorse the people who cut the best part off their genitals. The task force claims to be unbiased, unlike its critics, but it has an inherent bias to which it is blind. It treats cutting a normal, healthy, functional, non-renewing part of a baby's, and hence a man's, genitals off, as if it were equal and opposite to just leaving the baby's body alone when in fact it is medically and ethically a different kind of activity with a different kind of consequences. The task force ends its reply, It is our fervent hope that through the combined efforts of well-intentioned, open-minded researchers we will achieve greater understanding so as to better serve our young patients. The task force's mellifluous, unctuous tone belies its subject matter cutting parts off the genitals of babies, patients who have nothing the matter with them. People from cultures where this is not a norm will be baffled by the disconnect between the task force's words and its actions.